Here's another delicious holiday how-to. The holidays just wouldn't be the holidays without decadent desserts, and boy do I have a real Epicurean delight for you today. We'll be making these delicious dessert flutes filled with hazelnut cream, chocolate mousse, and topped with a whipped cream and garnished with delicious pastry rocks. Stay tuned. We're gonna be making a Maracaibo dark chocolate mousse. And the first step to making this is that we wanna take our milk and we're gonna actually take it over to the stove and boil it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll come back for the next step. So our milk has come to a boil and we are ready to move on to our next step. We are actually using a Maracaibo dark chocolate mousse. This is actually manufactured in Switzerland and the cocoa beans that are used in this chocolate mousse actually come from Venezuela. So Maracaibo is actually a city in Venezuela. And this mousse is a really decadent, rich mousse. It's a granulated mousse. So we're just gonna simply take those chocolate granules and we're going to add that to our milk. And we're gonna go ahead and let that completely incorporate. So we want those granules to completely melt into our milk. And we're just gonna whisk it. What we're looking for now is a nice smooth consistency. Once we achieve that smooth consistency, we will be moving on to our next step. Our chocolate granules have completely incorporated and it's almost the consistency of a ganache. So it's nice and smooth and just really shiny. And we're ready to move on to adding our heavy cream. Now, if you're in a pinch, which we were when we did this, um, we actually just incorporated the heavy cream right into our warm mixture. But if you want a super, super fluffy mousse, you can actually take your heavy cream and put it in your KitchenAid and whisk it just until you get kind of a soft whipped, you know, cream consistency and then just fold that in. I'm continuously mixing as I'm adding my heavy cream. And once I get that all incorporated, I'm actually going to let it set up in the refrigerator for about three to four hours. So again, if you want a really, really fluffy mousse, you'll want to take that heavy cream and pre-whip it before you add it to your warm mixture and then just simply fold it in. You'll get a super, super, you know, light and airy mousse. Next, I'm just gonna take my dish, my storage dish, and I'm just going to simply fill it up with my chocolate mousse. And again, it's going to need to set up for at least three to four hours. We're back and our chocolate mousse has had an opportunity to set up. We've gone ahead and pulled together some disposable flutes, and these are also by Chef Rubber. I absolutely love these. They make entertaining cleanup a snap. To our fluted stemware, we are adding some hazelnut cream, also by Chef Rubber, and we're just filling that flute up about halfway. To that, we are going to add our chocolate mousse. So I'm simply going to take a pastry bag and I'm going to fill that pastry bag up with that chocolate mousse and then I'll be piping that right on top. Now again, if you want a fluffy, light chocolate mousse during the beginning stages of making this mousse, you would want to pre-whip your heavy cream um, to a soft whipped consistency and then fold that in. I've elected to go this route because I have really picky eaters in my family that have uh, textural issues. They don't like, you know, certain textures and, and mousse is one of those textures that they don't care for. So I find that by creating more of a pudding consistency, everyone's able to enjoy this delicious treat. So I've got my pastry bag full and now I'm just gonna simply cut the end off and fill up my flute. Important to make sure your bag is folded down so that your chocolate mousse doesn't squirt out the other end all over your hands. And I prefer to pipe into my stemware just because I find that 
it is a cleaner presentation. I don't get mousse everywhere if I'm trying to spoon it. It's just nice and clean and tidy. It saves me, saves me a step. So now we've got our flute filled up and I'm gonna go ahead and continue filling all of my flutes and I will meet you back for whipped cream and garnishing. Our dessert flutes are ready to be topped with some fresh whipped cream. I'm using a pastry bag fitted with a 1M tip and I'm just gonna do a basic swirl right on top. Garnish that with some delicious pastry rocks to add a little texture and crunch. All of these products can be found at chefrubber.com and the recipes featured in today's tutorial are always available to members for download at epicdelights.com. Until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious.